So for number five um, and six, they say find and simplify the difference quotient. The difference quotient is this expression, f of x plus h minus f of x over h. And so they want me to find this expression, this expression, and then reduce it by the h. So in order to do that, um, I need to figure out first what f of x plus h looks like. So what this means is instead of x in this expression, because that is how they defined f, so instead of x, you're going to put what's inside the parentheses in for x. So here in the parentheses was just x, which is why there's an x here in the square and there's an x here multiplied by seven. But now I have an x plus h inside that parentheses. So I'm going to need to put an x plus h inside that square and I'm gonna need to put an x plus h multiplied by the seven and then finally your minus nine. Now, I do like to simplify this expression before I start trying to manipulate the, um, the difference quotient. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually expand that out and do x plus h times x plus h. And I'm gonna leave the rest of it alone for now. Now I'm going to multiply that. So x and x is x squared, x and h is x h x and h is x h, h and h is h squared. And leave the rest alone for now. Now I'm gonna do my distributing. So I'm gonna distribute the five. So I get five x squared plus five x h plus five x h plus five h squared. And here I have a positive seven I need to distribute. So positive seven x and positive seven h and then finally my minus nine. And if I combine my like terms, I end up with 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared plus 7x plus 7h minus 9. There were no other like terms. So I know exactly what f of x plus h looks like now. So when I go to write my difference quotient, to, instead of writing f of x plus h here, I'm actually going to put this expression here. And where it says f of x, I'm going to put this expression here. And then put it all over h. So my difference quotient becomes 5x squared plus 10xh plus 5h squared plus 7x plus 7h minus 9 minus f of x which is 5x squared plus 7x minus 9 the whole thing over h. Now I don't have a number here to distribute or an exponent here so I do not technically need that bracket or parentheses. So I'm just rewriting the inside without the bracket or parentheses. Here though, I do have a number to distribute. There's an invisible negative one there that has to be distributed. So I get negative five X squared minus seven X and then plus nine, all over H still. Then I notice that negative 5x squared and 5x squared will cancel, negative 7x, positive 7x, positive 9, and negative 9 will cancel. So what I'm left with is 10xh plus 5h squared plus 7h all over h. Now I can expand this or I can factor. Either way you want to do it, okay? So I'll factor the h out. Since they all have an h in common, I can factor that out. And I would get 10x plus 5h plus 7, because this h was squared, so I still have one left, over h. The h's would cancel, leaving me with the expression 10x plus 5h plus 7. And that is as simplified as it's going to get.
Now here, this is a, I want to make sure if it's a cube root. No, it is a square root with a three in front. So that three is not an index. That three is just a coefficient, okay? So I still want to off to the side, figure out what f of x plus h looks like. So I'm going to take my function f and I'm going to rewrite it. And instead of x, I'm going to put a parentheses plus two. <coughs> Excuse me. So then in here, where there was an x, I'm now going to put an f of, I mean an x plus h. There's no number to distribute and no exponent to apply. So that parentheses is really not needed. And if I could combine terms, I would, but x's, h's, and constants are not like terms, so I can't put them together. So this expression is going to stay like this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take f of x plus h, which is here in red, then subtract f of x, which is here in blue, and put the whole thing over h so that I can find the difference quotient. So I get 3 square root of x plus h plus 2 minus 3 square root of x plus 2 all over h. Now, the idea is to reduce by the h. We're not done until that h has been canceled. And right now, I cannot cancel it. So what we do in hopes of getting rid of the square roots at the top, so that somehow maybe I will end up with an h to cancel, is we're going to multiply um, this radical expression on top by its conjugate. But whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do the same thing to the top. So I do want to multiply by the conjugate of this, which is the exact terms, but with the opposite sign in the middle. So instead of a minus, we're going to put a plus. And whatever I do to the top of a fraction, I must do to the bottom of a fraction. Now at the bottom, you don't want to distribute the h. You want to keep it factored because you know that eventually um, you're going to have to cancel that h out. That's the whole goal um, as far as simplifying it. So I've just rewritten h times this at the bottom. At the top, though, I'm actually going to FOIL that out or distribute it. So this times this will give me 9 square root of x plus h plus 2 squared. This times this will give me 9 and then square root of x plus h plus 2 times square root of x plus 2. Then here I will get minus 9 square root of x plus h plus 2 times the square root of x plus 2. And then lastly, this term times this term will give me 9 square root of x plus 2 squared. So notice this long term here is the same as this long term here, but one is a positive and one is a negative, which means these two terms will cancel each other out. Not only that, but squares and square roots are inverses of each other, so they end up canceling each other out there as well. So I have this expression for this term. These two guys are gone. And then I have minus x plus 2 for this expression, since that square will cancel out that square root as well. At the bottom, we still have everything that was there. So let's go ahead and distribute these 9s and hope that we can somehow eventually cancel out that h. We end up with 9x plus 9h plus 18. And here if I distribute a minus 9, I get minus 9x minus 18. The denominator is going to stay the same. And then you have 9x minus 9x, 18 minus 18. So you end up with 9h over h and this same denominator
It's a really long denominator. But now you can see that this H will reduce with this H, leaving you with nine over three square root of X plus H plus two plus three square root of X plus two. And that is the final expression for this particular um, answer. Oh, I might be mistaken. I do see that we can reduce this a little bit. Um, I noticed that at the bottom you have a three and a three, right? Which means you can factor out a three from that expression. And if I factor out this three, all I'm left with is the roots. And then this three and this nine can reduce. And so we actually end up with a three in the numerator. And then the root x plus h plus two plus the root x plus two. And that I believe now is the final answer and it can no longer be reduced anymore.